So let's cue in on the Braves here, Joe. They're obviously a legitimate threat to the Mets. Uh, I wouldn't say a panic threat to the Mets, where the Mets have tread water without DeGrom, without Scherzer, now without McGill. The Braves have lost Ozzie Albies for at least till mid-August. Right now, do you think this has become a legitimate race that you have some fear of? Or do you think things kind of trend in the way of the Mets where they do have one of the easiest schedules in September, they do have reinforcements on the way, and while the Braves were aggressive at the deadline last year and it paid off for them, we know the Mets are not just going to sit on the phone and do nothing at this deadline either. I don't really have that chicken little mindset where I'm sitting here and looking backwards oh, no. and, look, yeah. and looking down out of, out of fear of what's behind what's behind me. And for the Mets, the Braves are behind them, and the Mets are a very good team in their own right. The Braves are a very good team. They won the World Series last year. I mean, you know, I said this uh, when we did our live show, like, you were probably pretty naive if you thought the Mets were just going to run through the NL East and, and wrap this division up early. This is going to be a race down through September. Um, Atlanta and the Mets still have 15 games left against each other. So I think that's going to be a large determining factor in who wins it. But Atlanta is a strong roster. I mean, they have some pitching. Their offense, when it's on, can really go. They have good relievers in the back end. I know Kenley Jansen just went on the IL, but when he's okay, you have him and Will Smith. They're they're a very good team. And the Mets and the Braves will probably be battling for, you know, the remainder of the summer. It's going to stay pretty close.